on your sellers if they want you to. So, um, everybody, make sure that you have one of these papers at your desk and a pen. And if you are on the Zoom, this link for this document is in the chat. If you're having problems getting it, I will email it to you. And they can just grab a paper and pen for anything to participate as well. So, okay, I hope you guys came prepared to like do some work because this is not a lecture, like we're gonna be doing some work. And Jen said that I do clearings for people and I will do a little bit of clearing for the class, but you're mostly going to be learning how to clear for yourself. Okay, because you need these tools with real estate. I want to tell you a little bit of a story. Um, I got my real estate license 18 years ago, and I was 21 years old. There you go. And I was kind of a control freak, I would say. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do everything perfect. I've got this. And I would try to control every transaction. I got so stressed out, just like trying to keep everything together. And then um, my family life was a little bit crazy because I was having babies and my husband deals with some mental illness stuff. So I just started like pressing down all these emotions in me, just one after the other. I was like, just forget it. Just press down all the stress inside me. Well, you know what that causes? Depression, right? Because you're pressing all this stuff down. So um, I decided that I needed to get some help because I was tired, I was stressed, my body hurt all the time. I went to the doctor and they diagnosed me with fibromyalgia adrenal fatigue and chronic stress. I was like, great, this is awesome. Um, and they're like, you'll never get over fibromyalgia, it's just something you know. I was like, yeah, right, I'm not dealing with that forever. So I started researching ways to clear stuff out of my body. And I went like full into this, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, every way you can imagine. I researched, I got trained in like a hundred different ways <laughs> to do this. And my fibromyalgia went completely away in about three years, which was kind of a miracle to the doctors because um, what fibromyalgia is, is it's where you have double nerve endings. And so everything, you feel everything way stronger than other people. So like right now, I, I'm holding all the energy in this room because it's like coming at me and I'm an intuitive anyway, but I have all these nerve endings. And so I may sound a little bit jittery or I may get a little shaky because I hold a lot of energy. But anyways, I don't feel any of the pain anymore. It's like amazing, it's a miracle. So I contribute that to learning how to clear out emotions from my body. So that's why it's so important and why I wanna teach you guys how to do this. So I hope you're excited because this will really help change your life if you get it. Okay, Pat, why isn't this changing slides? Um, hit that arrow over button. I see that. Maybe this is faster. Okay, I guess that moves on. Okay. okay, so I just told you why it was important for me to learn how to do this, but what are some other reasons why you would think it's important to clear out emotions from your life, from your body? Yeah? You handle transactions better. Yeah, handle transactions better. I think you just get tired. If you, yeah. if you don't clear out those emotions, you're tired. Yeah, you're super tired. And you don't. You don't get motivated at all. Yep. Adrenal fatigue. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Cortisol I'm goes up. Like connected to something too close, it's like you can't see it well. Mm -hmm. And when you like oh, cut the emotions, you can like back out and make a more logical decision. Yeah. It's hard to like disconnect from your instant choice when yeah. you're super emotionally charged with it. Perfect. That is so perfect. It helps clear your mind so you can see a bigger perspective instead of being like smashed up against it, right? Anything else? Why else would you want to clear your emotions for real estate? Mindset. Mindset. Because like if you're stuck on one, then you're going to keep bringing that in. on. Yeah, for sure. Yep. It will affect all the different transactions because you're the one carrying the stress, right? Yeah. Yep. And having, I feel like a lot of this is relationships and <clears throat> It can affect relationships because you're getting angry at someone because they're not doing something. Yes. And if you have the emotional clarity, you're able to be like, okay, what's happening? What's going on? And you can actually have a conversation rather than just reacting. Yes, perfect. Okay, 
That's great. So some of the other reasons I wrote in here is you don't want to carry that baggage into the new year. Emotions carry a weight. So I don't know if you guys know much about the emotional scale, but there's actually a frequency to every single emotion out there. Okay. The lowest uh, frequency is shame and the highest is enlightenment, peace, joy, love, all that stuff. Right. So a high frequency vibrates really fast and it's light. So you feel like airy, kind of like how I was buzzing when I started talking, like it was very light energy. Very dense energy is like shame, guilt, sadness, despair, anger. Um, we don't say one is good or bad. Everybody has these emotions throughout their life. It's totally fine to have them, but it's just good to know that they carry different frequencies. So you'll feel different when you're carrying those emotions, right? So, um, so if you're carrying a lot of dense emotions, you're going to feel heavy, like you're carrying baggage, if that makes sense. You'll kind of walk a little bit more hunched over. You'll just feel like you can't get a full breath. Um, everything will just feel a little bit heavier in your life. Um, you want to clear out emotions so you can feel like you're starting 2024 with a fresh start, right? You're not taking all that stuff from this year, which was crazy because everything changed in 2023, right? It was a different market for us. And so we want to just start the new year fresh. Um, if you carry a lot of despair or disappointment from not accomplishing goals from this last year, um, you're going to feel like, what's the point in trying for 2024? And we don't want to carry those types of emotions with us, right? So, um, have any of you guys heard of the book, Feelings Buried Alive Never Die? Okay. Awesome. So, if you haven't heard of that book, it's a great read. Okay. Put it on your Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. And it's by... Something human. Can't remember her name. It's a lady. It's been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great resource for clearing emotions on your own. So if you need a little resource book, she even has a flip chart that you can buy on Amazon. It's like seven bucks, and you can like go to the emotion and then it will tell you like what it's connected to. It's really cool. So um Okay, I'm going to tell you guys a story about emotions really quick, just in case you're not convinced that emotions can affect your life. <laughs> um, I, when I was going through all of those trainings and different things to learn how to do this, I went to a seminar and I was just sitting in the back and there were probably 300, 400 people in this room. And there was a guy named Bradley Nelson teaching. Do you guys know who he is? Mm -hmm. He created the emotion code. So the emotion code is a, another technique to clear emotions out of the body. So um, he was up front on stage teaching and he asked for somebody with a physical ailment to come up on stage so that he could help clear their pain. And so about, I would say a hundred people raised their hands. Everybody was like me, do me. And he picked this old lady. She was maybe 70. I don't know, maybe a little older. She had a cane and he said, come on up. And he said, why do you use the cane? And she said, because my feet hurt all the time. And he's like, okay, you know why your feet hurt? Have you had it diagnosed or whatever? And she said, no. And he said, okay, well, I'm pretty sure it's just an emotional thing that's stuck and it's caused your feet to hurt. So anyways, he started to muscle test her. You guys know what muscle testing is? <laughs> it's a way to test your body for when it goes weak. Um, so he would say different emotions and if she went weak, he knew that that was stuck in her body. But as she was on stage, I was sitting in the back and he started muscle tasting and I all of a sudden got this wave of emotion because of the frequency she was carrying. And the wave was grief and it was stuck in her heart. And I felt it so strong. I just started sobbing in the back of the room. And I was like, what is happening to me? This is in the very beginning of my journey of learning what I can do with people. Um, anyways, I just started sobbing. I was like, I turned to this person sitting next to me. And I was like, she has so much grief stuck in her heart. And it's been there like 17 or 18 years and it's from her husband. And they looked at me kind of crazy. They're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't know where this was coming from or what was happening, but I just knew it. Okay. And I don't tell you that to say there's anything special with me. I'm telling you that to tell you that emotions have frequencies. They send out waves. Okay. So if you're carrying things and you're around your clients and you're carrying a lot of shame or guilt, they're going to feel that. Okay. Even though they won't know really, but have you guys ever walked into a room where someone's been arguing and you're like, can feel it it's really dense and you can cut the tension with the knife right you've felt that before it's the same thing so people aren't aware enough to know what they're feeling but they might just feel like oh, i don't know if i want to work with them because they feel off 
right? Mm -hmm. So it's important to clear out these things. Anyhow, um, Bradley Nelson kept working with this lady and muscle testing, and then he would clear something, and he'd say, "Okay, hey, get up and walk and see how your feet feel." And each time she would be like, "It's a little better. It's a little better." And the last one he cleared was grief in her heart 17 years ago. And he said, "What happened 17 years ago that caused grief in her heart?" And she said, "My husband went to prison." And Anyways, he cleared that out of her, and his technique of clearing is to use a magnet on your central and governing meridian. Um, she got up and she walked on the stage. She had zero pain. She started sobbing. She's like, how did you do that? It's magic, right? And he said, no, it's just frequency which needs to come up so that you can clear it out. Okay? Mm -hmm. And she had just buried it down because I think she said she had like 12 kids. And she just had to go, 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 right? She didn't have time to deal with grief. So it just got pushed down and then it caused feet pain. How weird is that? A recurring pain somewhere else. But um, anyhow, the next morning at that conference, uh, he was speaking again and he called her back up and he said, how are you doing? I wanna make sure we got all of the stuff out of your feet. And she said, she used to take four pain meds at night so that she could go to sleep because her feet were so bad. And she woke up with zero pain she didn't have to take any pain meds. So anyway, I don't know the rest of the story, whether it stayed forever or not, but all I know it was a miracle for her. So if you're carrying emotions, it can do stuff like that. So it's important to clear them. Okay, today we're gonna use my method of clearing emotions because I've kind of combined a bunch of things over the years and made my own method, so. Um, I like to call it the three L's. My business is the inspiring light. And so my three L's are love, let go, and light. And we're gonna go through each of those. You guys are gonna participate and hopefully learn a lot about what you're carrying in you, okay? So love is the very first step whenever you're clearing anything, okay? If you want to clear your emotions and you start with judgment for yourself, it will not clear. It will never clear. I promise you that. So if you will start with love and compassion for yourself exactly where you're at, then the emotion will feel safe enough to surface so that you can clear it. But if you start judging yourself right off the bat, like, why didn't I get this done? Why can't I do this? Why is this not working for me? Those are all judgment statements, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's going to stay buried because it doesn't feel safe with you. Okay. So you need to make yourself feel safe so that you, your body can talk to you so it can be heard, okay? So yeah, that's our very first step. We're gonna practice that. And then the second one is let go. Now there's a hundred different methods of letting go. I'm planning to do EFT with you, but if we decide to do something else, we'll do something else. Um, EFT is like the most studied, well-known technique for releasing emotions. So it's tapping. And we'll see, but because <laughs> I tend to kind of fill into it. And if we need to do something else, we will. But that's what I'm planning for right now. Um, and then light. There's, once you clear an emotion, there's space there. And you want to fill it quickly with hope, with light, with joy, with something that makes it feel better, right? So, um, so that you can move forward. Okay, so this first one. Yeah, you can take a picture of that if you want. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys probably, I need to see what time it is. Um, let's say like seven minutes, and you're going to go through this first L on your page. It's called love, okay? And we're going to do free writing, okay? Free writing is when you allow yourself to write without judgment, okay? So you're going to read the question, when I think about real estate in 2023, I feel... And you're not going to think through this. This is not like a thinking process. This is a feeling process. So you're just going to allow your hand to kind of start writing. It's called free writing for a reason. If the very first thing that comes up is I feel super pissed off, you're going to write that. Okay. Whatever comes up to the surface, write it down and just kind of freely write. Nobody's going to be looking at each other's papers or judging you. Let it come out. <laughs> <laughs> Except maybe the sisters might. Um, Anyway, uh, people online, you should be able to see the slide. Here you go. The questions are on here. Uh, you guys can go through these. Let's see. Yeah, it's front and back. 
And if you need more space, you can go to the back of the last page. Just don't do the third, the light page deck. Okay. Are we supposed but, to have the second L or no? Yes. Oh, no. No, because no. that's when we're going to be working together. Okay, clear it. So, um, anyway, so you're going to free write, uh, write down emotions, sentences. You can scribble if that was what wants to come out. It doesn't matter. It's an intuitive process for you to get stuff to come to the surface because in order to clear it, we have to get it to come up, right? So we want it to come up. So go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to give you like seven minutes to work on it. You guys want to do this? You can have me. Three more minutes.
I'm going to emphasize this just because we grew up in a society where you don't really get to use full expression of emotions with like swearing and stuff. So if you feel that, please bring it up. Like don't judge yourself for feeling it. Just let it come up, okay? <laughs> One more minute. Okay, just finish up the part that you're writing. Um, I want you guys to all just kind of sit with what you just wrote down from the year. And you may have had some good things in there too. Like when you think about 2023, you may have felt some good things. You may have had some bad things, right? Or not good and bad, but lots of different emotions, like a roller coaster. So that's okay. That's totally fine. But overall, I want you to think about your impression of real estate right now. And I want you to rate it on a scale from zero real estate doesn't stress me out at all to 10 real estate stresses me out so much okay so just write it on your paper your own measurement after you kind of reviewed your year and how it made you feel and you'll all have a different number okay now we're going to try to find some commonalities between what's going on in the room I can tell you some things because like I already feel that I stepped out for a minute and when I came back it was like 10 degrees hotter in here because you guys are all working away and bringing up the stuff <laughs> and so I can start to tell you but this is more important that you guys figure it out so um can I have somebody that would be willing to write on this uh little whiteboard for me would anybody be willing to be thank you Crosby is that right Alexis. 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 Yeah. Alexis. Yeah. You guys kind of look alike. A little bit. <laughs> well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> you guys are both beautiful. Okay, so we're going to bring up some things, just what you feel comfortable sharing. Um, I want you to share the main emotions that came up for you. So you can just kind of yell them out and she'll write them down. Um, when you think about 2023 and your real estate career, what came up for you emotionally? Roller coaster ride. Roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of abbreviate or whatever. We just want to make the list. So what else came up? Shortcoming. Shortcoming. Mm -hmm. Frustrated. Frustrated. Delusional sellers. Delusional sellers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I yes. think it's the past. Yep. And scared buyers. Oh, yeah, part and mm -hmm. buyers. Scared. Scared. Yeah. Unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. everything's on hold. Like, like a standstill. Yeah. Hold yeah. and just kind of waiting. Buyer and sellers want too much. Right there. Yeah. Expectation. Right there. He meant to say, please write Wait. bigger. Oh, write bigger. <laughs> so maybe try to make your writing a little bigger. Oh, he said, right, bigger. So cute. Yeah. Except sorry, I'm okay, sorry. More bigger, too. <laughs> sorry. Yes. All right, bigger. All right, bigger. Bigger there. All right, bigger moving forward. 
hey, what emotions came up for you when you think about your goals that you had? And that wasn't like a specific question, but I'm sure a lot of you were thinking about your goals. Did you hit them? Did you not? Did you feel disappointed? Did you feel like a failure? Failed. Unattainable. Unattainable. Failed. No. Disappointed. Like anxious. It's like you're almost there and then it falls out. Yeah. 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 Almost there and falls out. yeah. Yeah, that's where that roller coaster comes in. In 18 years this year, I had more under contract and then fall out than I've ever had. It's crazy. I'm like, what is happening here? Yeah. Is that so, big enough? <laughs> yes, you are great. <laughs> okay, when you think about um, interest rates in the economy, what came up? Anxious. Anxious, yeah. Anxious. Law. Law. <laughs> Law. That's a good one. A good one. Stagnant. Law, stagnant. I know some people feel numb. Well, so scared. like, scared. it's the same thing as before too unpredictable because I mean they didn't even follow the way that they normally followed and trended. So exactly. I think mm -hmm. that was yeah, like zero trend. Yeah. There's, zero trend. There's no template or pattern. Huh. I think distracted. Yeah. A lot of these things distracted us from goals. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, also, I think I said to somebody, somebody say something online. Like, oh, the voice that somebody said, but then they're like, "Should you work?" Like, what did she uh, say? Avoidance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What did she say? Avoidance. Avoidance. Like avoiding the whole situation. Well, or like you should be working, but you're like, "What's what's it going to do?" And then you find something else to go do. Yeah. Like, whatever. Like, yeah. 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 We're calling um, our sellers and telling them that no one's called in last week. <laughs> did any of you guys feel like you were just waiting around? Just yeah. waiting around, waiting for something to happen, a lot of waiting. Mm -hmm. Practicing, so. forced to practice patience. Yes, mm -hmm. patience, <laughs> for sure. Okay, when you got to the question, I'm afraid of this happening, what did you guys write down? Oh, is this oh did you guys see that one on there or not? Not on there next week. Maybe oh, it didn't yeah. print. Okay, well, think about it. What are you afraid of happening? Just what are you afraid of? You're afraid of next year? More of the same. Yeah. More of the same. What about finances? Yeah. Anybody scared of financial stuff? Mm -hmm. Like making their bills or yeah. mm -hmm. um, not getting enough business? Having to lose another job. Yeah, having to get another job. What other fear, fears come up for you? Over celebrating the holidays and then it fits in January. Like, oh, what are we going to do now? We just spent all this money. <clears throat> yeah. What about with the whole lawsuit thing against the National Association? Yeah. Do you guys have any fears with that? That BACs might change. Me. It's Here's embarrassing. Embarrassing. We do embarrassment. I had some embarrassment this year, which is interesting because a lot of things have been out of our control yes. and it feels embarrassing mm -hmm. for some reason. Okay. Yeah. okay. Anything else that you guys are feeling when you think about your business that you didn't mention or that you want to bring up that you think somebody else is feeling? I'm gonna give you an oddball out, but I'm hopeful. Hopeful? For 2024. Oh yeah, that's not an oddball. That's I think that is great, and we want to get there. We don't really want to clear that. Though. Oh, so, no. <laughs> so exhaustion. Yeah. I think despair is a big one. Disappointment. Mm -hmm. Disappointment and despair. Disappointment up there, but despair is a big. Um, okay, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to like tune into you guys and bring up a few more that I feel that maybe you didn't mention and I'm sure it's going to resonate with somebody in here because I can feel it. There's tons of stuff in my gut. So we're going to go into feeling stuff now, like body stuff. So anxiety in the gut. Nauseous. I feel that some people got nauseous over their business this last year. Almost like a clenching too, like, ooh, out of control. There's a lot of people that felt out of control. They didn't have any control over things. So this whole part of your body right here is your solar plexus. This is your power center. And when you feel like you're out of control, this will have issues. So if you have issues with acid reflux, if you have issues with different things, it clenches. 
and it's because you feel out of control, so you need to pay your bills again. Um, they're just like this. Almost oh, pain. Oh, there. Okay, so there's a deep underbelly of fear. So all of this is um, not feeling safe. That's what it is. Okay, so people have not felt safe in this economy because it's so unpredictable. So that's a little bit different than unpredictability, right? If you don't feel safe, your body doesn't feel safe and it starts to clench up and you start to get a little bit afraid. So, um, okay, we're gonna go a little bit down. This is your root chakra right here in this area, your pelvic region. And there's a lot of safety issues there for a lot of people as well. Um, but it's a little bit different, like not feeling rooted or grounded. So you don't have like a leg to stand on. That's what it feels like, like not feeling rooted or grounded, but feel, uh, feel not feeling grounded because that's important to the business. Will you guys all take a really deep breath for me and then blow it out slowly out of your mouth? When I'm connected to you, I start to not breathe <laughs> because if you're not breathing, I'm not breathing. So if people are holding their breath, I'm like, okay, everybody breathe. Uh, we're gonna go into the low back tailbone area there's some financial stuff back here uh feeling unstable that's what it is um there's some yeah instability in the low back and pressure on the hip so feeling a lot of pressure to do things a certain way to like you're almost making it your own fault like something's not selling this is my fault there's i'm not doing it right a lot of pressure and it's, fix it syndrome. yeah, like I've got to fix this. This is my fault. It's just so much pressure and it's on the hip, which is interesting because that's usually in the shoulders and neck, but we'll get to the shoulders and neck just in a minute. But yeah, the hips feel this heavy, like weight of the world. So, um, whoever is carrying that, we're going to clear that because I, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> like, so sad for me to feel that. Um, okay, it's going to be okay. Okay, we're going to go up to the neck and shoulders. Um, some of you like to carry all of your stress in anger in your jaw, and that's totally fine. We all know what anger feels like, but there's just a lot of jaw and neck stuff. So I put anger. A lot of people felt anger towards this market. Ooh, anger towards their clients too. Lots of anger towards clients. <laughs> and you guys didn't bring that up, but it's there. So maybe check in and see if that's you if you're like oh this client drove me crazy or <laughs> you need to forgive them that's for sure there um also yeah clenching there's just a lot of clenching, like stress holding on to stress so that's a general emotion we didn't even touch on but stress and clenching is a big one okay and then um somebody's kidneys are really holding a lot of fear kidneys generally hold fear just so you know but um both sides there's a lot of fear male and female fear so that means both the men and the women are holding fear so we'll clear that so you can put fear on there if it's not letting you know. okay that's probably good for right now all right now that you guys brought all of this stuff up right and thank you for being vulnerable and like showing your true self right in real estate and in business in general we can sometimes feel like we have to put on the show like everything's great we're doing great but we're not always doing great we're normal people right we have normal struggles and emotions so we're going to clear this now and um the ways that i chose to do this are with breath work visualizations and eft and then a little bit of forgiveness is kind of mixed in there but EFT is um, an evidence-based self-help therapeutic method, and it has over 100 studies that demonstrate its efficacy. So just for any of you that might think this is weird because this is a new world to you, uh, this is on the National Library of Medicine. It's like nlm.org or something. So it's like a national government site <laughs> that has studied this. So that's why I chose to do it. It's because it was like the most studied and the least weird maybe for some people but um if i feel in the middle that you guys are not clearing because you feel uncomfortable with it i will switch it <laughs> so 
We don't have to do it that way, but that's just the one I wanted to start with. Okay. So, um, all right, everybody, we're going to start with three deep breaths, and I want you to close your eyes when you're doing this and imagine that your breath, when you breathe out, is sinking into the ground because we need to ground all your energy so that we can release all of these emotions. Okay, so everybody go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out through your mouth and imagine the breath just sinking down into the earth. Do that three or four times. Well, you guys all have your eyes closed. I'm just going to have you do a simple visualization. I want you to imagine that all of this stress and all of these emotions that you have been holding come up to the surface and they're color. Okay. And I want you to start pulling them out of the center of your body. Go ahead and use your hand and just start pulling out of the center of your body until you get a big ball of emotion, whatever color you feel like it is. Everybody's color will be different. Whatever color you feel like these emotions are, just bring them out in front of you in a big ball. You can pull until you feel like you've got them all out. You can breathe, just breathe it out and pull it out. Okay, when you have that ball of emotion in your hands, I want you to look at it with your eyes closed. So you're using your visualization skills. I want you to start to shrink that ball. It's just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller just from you looking at it with love. Okay? Just let it get smaller, smaller, smaller until it disappears. Everyone's ball will take a little bit different time to evaporate. Make sure you're breathing. When your ball is evaporated, you can go ahead and open up your eyes. Good job. Do you guys feel the energy in the room shift? Can you guys feel how calm and peaceful it is now? Mm -hmm. okay. Everybody just did the very first step in releasing their stress. Okay? So that's a very quick and easy um, technique that you guys can use on your own. If you're going to an appointment and you feel stressed, sit in your car for one minute, think about the thing you're stressed about, close your eyes, imagine it a color and start pulling it out of your solar plexus, the middle of your body unless you're in tune enough to feel where it's at in your body, okay? If it's like in your shoulders, pull it out there, okay? Wherever you pull it out, make sure it comes out in a color and then shrink it till it disappears, okay? And then you'll feel your body just kind of ground, okay? What this does for you is it gets you into your body. So you can kind of tell from like the beginning of class when my energy was fuzzy because I was feeling everybody's energy, I was excited. Um, because nervous and excitement are like the same frequency. So I was like feeling all of that. And now I can feel everybody's energy. That's everyone's in their body. Okay. So everything's grounded. So this is the perfect place to clear, is to be grounded. You know, whenever you need to plug something, you need to ground. Okay. It's the same thing. If we're going to get connected with your energy, we need to ground. So, okay. Now we're going to start EFT. This is a tapping technique. You're going to tap on different points. You're just going to follow along with me. I'm going to say the stuff. And just to keep it simple, I want you guys to repeat it in your head, just so that it's not kind of a jumbled mess saying it out loud. Okay. So I'll say it. I'll leave a second. You say it in your head. Okay. And what we do with EFT is we always bring up everything that's kind of, it sounds negative at first, because we're going to clear that. And then we're going to release it and then we're going to put back in positive. Okay? So we're acknowledging with love and without judgment. Okay? So go ahead and start tapping on the side of your hand right here. It's called the karate chop point. You can do it like this if you like that better. 
Okay, so just repeat in your head after me. Even though real estate has been stressful, I love and accept myself completely. Even though 2023 has been stressful, I love and accept myself completely. Even though it's been unpredictable, I love and accept myself completely. Good job. Okay, go to this point right here in the eyebrow. You see, okay. all of this stress, all of this stress. Okay, go to the outer eye. All of the fear. So much fear. Okay, under your eye. All of the disappointment. So much disappointment. Okay, under your nose. All of the pain. All of the despair. Okay, your chin. All of the feelings that I've pushed down. Trying to put on a happy face. Trying to look perfect. Go to your collarbone. Everybody take a deep breath in and out. Feeling restricted. Feeling stressed out. Feeling like I've been on an emotional roller coaster. Okay, you're gonna go right here. This is kind of the funny point, but it actually gets a lot out because your liver and kidneys are right here. Liver holds anger, kidneys hold fear. All of the anger I felt. All of the fear I felt. All of the frustration. So much frustration. Okay, go to the top of your head. My hopes would go up just to get pushed back down. My hopes were dashed. Okay, right here again. So we're gonna go around probably two more times to get all of it out. So much pressure on me. So many people want things from me. How can I do it all? Okay, side at the end. Feeling out of control. I can't control these transactions. I can't get this house to sell. Why won't this house sell? Feeling like it's my fault. Feeling all of the pressure on me under your eye. Feeling all of this pressure on me. Okay, under your nose. Why does it have to be so hard? Why are my clients so needy? Why do people use me for my time? Okay, here, Jim. So much anxiety. So much clenching. Okay, here, collarbone. Everyone take a deep breath in and out. 
my sense of well being has been lost. So much fear about money and finances. How are we going to pay our bills? So much fear around the economy. So many opinions. What's going to happen? Okay, we're going to add in an extra point. Tap on your solar plexus. This is where most of you are holding stuff, I would say. So we're going to deal with this for a minute. Releasing the need to control. Releasing the need to take care of everything and everybody. Releasing. Feeling like I have to hold it all together. Releasing all the anger. Releasing all the hurt. Good job, those that are yawning. You're releasing a lot. Okay, go to this point again. Take a deep breath and breathe it out. Choosing to let this all go now. Remember to keep repeating this in your head. Choosing to let it all go. Choosing to release this from my body. Choosing to release this from my cells. Okay, go to the top of your head. Choosing to release this from my thoughts. Choosing to release all the stressed out thoughts. Choosing to release this from my mind. Choosing to release this from my subconscious. Choosing to release all the fear. Okay, go to your eyebrow point. Choosing to breathe. Go to the out, outer eye. Choosing to expand my energy. Under your eye, choosing to trust. Under your nose, choosing to be innovative. On your chin, choosing to adapt. Choosing to flow with the energy. Choosing to ride the waves. Choosing for this to be easy. In your collar book. Choosing to feel well. Choosing to feel healthy. Choosing to feel happy. Choosing to feel grateful. I am grateful I get to be in the real estate industry. I am grateful I get to serve clients. I am grateful I get to help people. Can you go to your solar plexus? I'm grateful I get to be there for people. I'm grateful that people can count on me. I'm grateful that people trust me. I'm grateful that I get to learn and grow. I'm grateful for all the opportunities I have. Okay, take a deep breath and move to this one. I'm grateful for my job. I love my job. I chose this job for a reason. This job brings me a lot of freedom. This job brings me a lot of flexibility. 
Is that the top of your head? This job brings me a lot of joy. I'm grateful that I got to choose to do this. I'm grateful that I'm here. I'm grateful that I'm showing up. I'm grateful that I'm trying. Hair eyebrow. I'm grateful for a new year with new possibilities. The side of your eye. I am grateful for 2024. Under your eye. I am going to show up differently in 2024. Under your nose. I'm going to trust the journey. I'm going to learn and grow. I'm going to show up with a new vibration to love my clients. On the chin. I'm going to show up with more love than I ever have before. With more compassion than I ever have before. With more smiles than I ever have before. Okay, your collarbone. I am here to love and serve. And I can let go of all of the stress. Because loving and serving doesn't equal stress. Take a deep breath. Okay, last point. I'm excited for the new year. I've got this. There's new opportunities ahead. The past does not equal the future. I've got this. Okay, take a deep breath. Good job, you guys all stayed with that. So good, I'm so proud of you. Okay, we went right into the light to fill it in because you guys were doing so good and you were so in the zone that we just went right into it. So I'm gonna give you just like two minutes. Let me see what time it is, yeah. We'll just do like two minutes. I want you to look at that last paper. It's the light paper. And now that we've kind of recalibrated your energy, still, I want you to just fill in some of those sentences with some of the new hopes and dreams that you have for 2024. Um, some things you can be grateful for, some things you look forward to. Um, and just start the new year with a new vibration of gratitude and hope. Okay, 
Now up here, tune into yourself. And when you think about real estate now, on a scale from zero to 10, how stressed out does real estate make you now? Zero being no stress and 10 being totally stressed. Just write it down on your paper and just notice if your number went down at all. Go ahead and raise your hand if your number went down. Almost everybody. Um, okay, can anybody just share with us to end this um, a couple of the things you're grateful for with real estate or that you look forward to that you wrote down? Yeah. Oxygen reduce freedom where you can do everything. Yeah, flexibility and freedom. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really grateful for the real estate business because A, I get to take my kids to school, pick them up. And also, I get to work with a ton of great people. I like love being when my clients buy their home. Sorry, I'm gonna like start crying. <laughs> um, it makes me so excited. There's a lot of people that it's their first home, and they get so excited. And so for 2024, what I look forward to. There's people in homes right now. This is the biggest thing. Right now, they all have like great rates. And so they're not going to move. But the people that are going to be buying homes in 2024 are the people that haven't had great credit, that are working on their credit and want to buy their first home. Or, you know, I mean, they're obviously are going to be for the people that are moving. But those are going to be our key clients are people that haven't had great credit, that are building their credit, that want to buy their first homes, all that stuff. And they don't know the first thing about buying a home. And it be really rewarding. Exactly. And so it's just rewarding when they buy their first home. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting for them. Real estate's exciting and it's fun and it's rewarding and it's, it's connecting. You feel so connected to your clients by the end of the transaction. And if you shift your focus to my business is to serve and to love them, the whole time it can be rewarding. Even when they're being kind of needy or frustrating, if you change your vibration to I'm here to serve and love them, it can be rewarding because you can help them through their stress too. So does anybody else want to say anything that they're looking forward to or that they're grateful for before we close the class? Okay, so everybody just take a deep breath in. And send all your energy back to you. You don't want it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you all for showing up and for doing this and for trusting me to help you clear your emotions. And I hope you now look forward to 2024 with a new perspective and outlook that things can be great. Things can be happy and you can clear all the stresses and move forward. So thanks for showing up. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh, does everyone just feel better? Oh my God, this awesome. is awesome. Like, I um, have her do this on a personal level. If you guys need a personal clearing for things that you're going through in your life, I cannot recommend her more. She is so good at what she does. It, I always feel so much lighter and better after she does a clearing for me. Um, and then again on the homes, like it's crazy how she can do that on a home because homes actually have energy. Yes. Families lived in them. They gave the home love and those types of things. And so it's so interesting to hear her go through and learn about this home and then clear it for you. So it's it's been a really fun journey. So please trust Chrissy on those things. So thank you if for talking you. about a home. Please be open minded. Houses have really funny and so just, oh, for sure. Yeah, We've had a couple of interesting ones recently. <laughs> yes. huh? That yes. was a really fun one. Of you um, for what side is don't. inspiring light? No, yeah, the inspiring light .com. You the can schedule house awesome. clearings on there or personal sessions or prayer sessions. I do a lot of spiritual work for people as well. So those are by donation. Um, but yeah, if you want to go to the inspiring light .com, you can see what I do. I was just gonna say too, like a lot of the times you mentioned before we go into a home, it's just like an extreme, right? Mm -hmm. in our yeah. And a lot of I do that a lot, especially when I'm at a long red light and I'm headed to meet a client and I'm just super stressed dealing with the last client or whatever personal situation and i find that i have a lot of power going into their home the type yeah. of energy i bring 
So I try really hard to get rid of everything I've been <laughs> carrying and bring in like light and happiness into the situation because I feel like that helps then that process go yeah. forward better. So be I love to... that, Kimberly. Thank you for saying that because I do think that um, we carry a lot of emotions and sometimes you can't get them off your face. <laughs> and you think you have, but you can't, right? And your clients are like, what is going on? So I love that you take a moment to do that. What a great gift you're giving to your clients to say, okay, I need to get, have a clear, clean slate for these people. They deserve my 100%. That's awesome. I love that. Um, does anybody learn anything else new today? Yeah, like all the holidays are so stressful and I've started hesitating showing up even though I love to go to all parties and events because I can sense like you, that people are tense and stressed and upset. But I thought we can just take 60 seconds before we enter any of these things and just clear our emotions and then show up differently. Yep. I really got today how much power we have over mm -hmm. our own future, right? Mm -hmm. to, to be thinking about 2024 and how we can really clear our mind to opening up. For me, I wrote down things like, um, I can't wait for new opportunities next year and mm -hmm. doors to be opened and things like that. And so, but if you, I was stuck in the, the, my beginning was how mad I was at a builder I worked for, like angry and hurt and frustrated. And if I was stuck in that, I probably wouldn't be open to the opportunity. So I was really grateful to feel that the, that I had the power within myself to go, okay, I can let that go and really show up differently in 2024. So I'm super yeah. excited about that. Everybody in this room should be like on a whole new level from here on out. And 2024 is going to be amazing for all of us because we all have this little glimpse of, wow, I had the power to do that in this one session with Chrissy to feel like I can change my thought process, right? Um, also, I feel like, like I listen to stuff in the morning and I think power of thought and I think all of those things. So like even coming here, I already knew like kind of the stuff we were going to get into. And I go like, oh, I like am so relaxed or whatever. And then you start writing it down and you're like, F this, it's hard. <laughs> and how much you really have pent up in there and how often we really do need this, even though we think we're doing it or we think we're like, this would be so important for all of us to like tap into. Because I think there's a lot more down there than we think. Oh no, there's a lot more pent up than there's years. Like I said, it took me three years of doing this, like continuously to clear fibromyalgia, but that was years of stuff. Stuff, right but it came out and it cleared and it was awesome but I rewrote every single day so that's a tool you guys can use every day free write what am I feeling today and just write 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 get it out that's the quickest way by the way I didn't have you guys do this I want you to rip up your first page we cleared that rip it up throw it away <laughs> um, keep your second page um, yes and then I just I do want to mention one thing too that I didn't mention the reason why I have the three L's to love, let go, and light is because if you go directly to light, there's a lot of life coaches out there. So I'm a trained life coach and energy healer. So I do both. Life coaches tend to go, okay, you have a negative thought, switch it right now. Just switch it. It never works. I promise you, it never works. If you are pissed off at your husband and your life coach tells you to just switch it, you're not going to. Okay? Yeah. Until it's acknowledged. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Until it is acknowledged, seen, and loved, it won't leave. So that is why I always do the love, let go, and light. So remember that with yourself. If you're just telling yourself, I just have to be positive, I just have to be positive, don't do that to yourself. Love yourself. Be like, okay, I'm legit angry right now. Mm -hmm. And I love myself and I'm going to feel this anger for a minute, breathe it out and then fill it with love and light and stuff. But don't just go straight to, I've got to be positive because then that just pushes it down. It's just throwing a rug over it. Right? So anyways, that's why we do the three steps because you got to love yourself where you're at or it will never change. It has to be seen, acknowledged. That's why empathy is so powerful. So. Love that. Well, I want to commend everyone for being here. I know sometimes yeah. these things can feel wooey, <laughs> but as you all can tell, the energy energy shifted. So mm -hmm. it's actually real, and it, it actually is something that we can tap into and utilize in our careers and in our lives. And that's why I'm not afraid of the wooey. I'm like, bring <laughs> it on. I it's actually it. scientific. <laughs> it's and it's scientific. Like, Go study it. Scientific You'll see study. the hertz are there for the frequency. Like, it's studied. But I commend you for doing yes. something different. But you guys did something awesome and different. Good job. Thanks for being here, everybody. Yeah.